this is always back with another video on the channel today we're going to talk about environment files in angular project now let's just say you are building an angular application or i'm going to use this ionic which uses angular as a framework now let's just say building an application you want to add a button which will do some debugging to be able to do that and serve your application prod versus a debug you're going to need some environment files so right now you can see the two environment files environment.ts environment.prod.ts file now if i go to terminal i'm going to stop the application so here i'm going to type ionic serve dash dash prod so what it's going to do now it's going to use this prod file instead of this environment.ts file so let's just go to environment.ts file and here i've got this is login available i'm going to change this to is login card enabled for example i want this login card to be only enabled when i am working on this application not in the production so instead of just putting a logic in my code i would like to put that logic into this environment variable so on the time of serve or on the time of when i'm building this application for production it should not basically show login button so here i've got this login card enable i'm gonna go to login page and here i'm going to first of all let's just create a local a variable so i'm going to say login card enable set that to boolean we're not going to set any value so at the construction time i'm going to set this dot login card enable equal to environment dot so let's just import that is login available okay go to html file for this login page i'm gonna go and find the card that is you know creating this ui so that would be this card so i'm going to use ng if and i'm going to say is login card enabled so now if that value is true then it will show the login card otherwise it won't show that now the benefit of this if i go to environment file and make this true i'm serving this application using ionic serve and by default when you do ionic serve this environment.ts file is used so i'm going to actually create a new typescript file and I'm going to name this okay now when I'm working on this when I'm developing the application I want to serve this file so I'm gonna just copy this same export cons environment variable okay now here I'm gonna make this true and go back to environment.ts file I'm gonna make this false right so now if i go to terminal stop the application and if i want to serve and use this file instead of this one what i will have to do is configure this in angular.json file angular.json file you will see some configuration related to your project we have a build section let me just zoom in a bit and also we have a serve section now here you can see that there's a configuration and we got this production configuration there we're going to add another configuration while we serve a replication so right below when we finish the production i'm going to add dev and here i'm going to target browser and we're going to say app.build- colon dev not dash so here we added the configuration for it now when we're going to serve this using dev configuration it's going to look for a build dev so let's go and fix that as well so here we got the production uh for our build section okay let me just zoom it zoom out a bit now i'm going to copy this whole lot 
okay and I'm gonna paste that again now here I'm gonna change this name to dev also because I'm not doing a production build I'm just going to use this for development so I'm going to get rid of all this configuration and for the file replacement I'm going to change this to dev so this configuration basically is going to do one thing while it's serving it's going to use this environment file instead of environment.ts file so here we have a you know key file replacement you have a two key replace with and this is how you replace the file when you're serving okay so our configuration is done now in environment.dev we have we see that we set that value to fall now we're using this dev environment so i'm going to use this command now so I'm going to use ionic serve dash dash configuration equal to dev enter and now you can see here it's using serve colon dev for building the application so wait for a couple of seconds once this is going to serve our application then we can see I'm going to refresh the page in Chrome and we don't see the login card anymore so if I change this to true, you'll see the login card will be back. Okay, so you can see that you can add a multiple configuration uh, in your angle.json file, and especially you can target uh, multiple or different environment files while you're serving, while we're building, and it's really, really useful when you want to develop a debug function which will only be available in certain uh, condition so you can set that condition here in your environment file and you can use the environment file while serving or building your application all right thanks for watching if this video helped you please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one cheers